Ladies and gentlemen, my name again, Brenda Caesar Conte. I'll just go straight to the point. Um, just in case you're interested to know about the music I just played, I'm from Sierra Leone in West Africa. The music is a Sierra Leonean music and it is in a language I know most of you would not understand what they're saying. Myself, honestly, I don't understand because it's from the Limba tribe, a very dominant tribe of Sierra Leone. I'll talk about that later. But for today, I want to talk about racism. And I want to... Not that I want to compare racism and tribalism, because racism is worse than tribalism. They are similar, but one is worse. Let me say, the reason why one is worse, worse um, with regards to tribalism, if I am in my country, we practice tribalism there as well, Okay. If I enter a room, let me say I enter a room of a different tribe, they might not know, okay, until maybe I open my mouth to talk or I tell them that I'm from a different tribe because all of us, we are black, okay? But racism, poor, you do not need to open your mouth. It is just by looking at the color of your skin. That is what they need to see. They just need to see it. You don't need to open your mouth. You don't need to do anything. And that is why it is very, very bad. However, I must say that some people will ask, is this better in the UK than America? Is this better? No, no, no. It is not better anywhere. It is bad. Everywhere it is bad. Racism is bad everywhere. But the main difference between racism in England, because I live in the UK, London to be precise, the white people... The British people, they have a very distinct characteristics from those that live, the whites that live in um, America, United States of America. One thing about the British people, they can hide a lot. They can hide even their smile. Most of the time it is fake. They, they will not like you and they will smile like you. You understand? That is just fake because you're not smiling from your heart. You don't mean to smile, but because I catch you looking at me, you give me that stupid smile. So they know how to hide their feelings. They know how to hide everything, okay? Whereas the people from United, mainly, I'm talking about in terms of majority. They say majority carries the vote. Not everyone in England is racist. Not everyone in America is racist. I'm talking, um, I'm just giving you a holistic picture. So actually, when you go to America, the Americans, they're blunt. They can just tell you, I don't like you, you're this, you're that, you're whatever. You will not cut that in the um, UK that much because they know how to hide things, okay? So that's the main difference. And that is why when you come to United Kingdom, you might not feel racism like that. It is not that blunt or obvious. Like when you go to America, some states in America, However, it is still the same. Um, I have had my fear of racism. I know and I understand. And that is why when Megan was talking, I felt up in because I could easily go in and put myself. I would not understand 100% because I've never lived in the royal family. I'm not married to them. You understand? But I will understand a bit. Unlike a lot of folks that are on social media talking a lot of rubbish. You understand that is most of these white people you, i don't even know why they are talking about racism when they are not black you have to be black you have to be faced with it then you will know if you are not black you will not know i think that is why megan's dad sat down there like a buffoon like a buffoon he sat down there and <laughs> 
and he was just like lost because he could not understand racism one way you will tend to blame him the other way you will tend not to blame him but on the whole if i were the dad whether i understand racism or not that is where mothers can be better than dads i will always support my my my, my daughter i don't need to understand it what i need to be is a dad a real dad you understand i don't know what he might be suffering from because he keeps on saying that um um he's been attacked by this he's been duped but what about the mom <laughs> why did the mom you understand okay that's another story for another time but for today i want to bring a comparative studies not that i want to take the shine away from megan i do feel for her and i just pray for them that their marriage would last that they will continue to enjoy their privacy their peace of mind i believe that god almighty will help them because what they have shown us there is a love harry has shown love that many men don't know i do hope that especially my um sierra leonean men and men for my background i pray that they will learn from it because when you are married it is a very big responsibility and in most cases the men propose to the bride okay the bride to be they propose they say i want to get married to you but many a times they are not ready for marriage it uh, ready does not mean age okay you can be 30 years and you're still a baby because you think and behave like a baby. You can be 40 years, you're still a baby. <laughs> you understand? You can be 20 years, you are more mature than somebody who is 40, 50 years. But most of our men, they are not ready for marriage. Because um, if they were put in the position that Harry is put in or was put in, many of our African men, they will choose their family over their wives. And that is what is even happening in our African society. The women suffer a lot. When you get married to these men, they make sure that they put their family or especially their mothers over you. And that is not how it's supposed to be. Because look at how he left the riches, the fame, everything in the family. I feel for him because you are used to that family. One way or the other, he will miss them a lot. But however, he looked at the bigger picture. That is what a lot of our men don't look at. And that is what a lot of people don't look at. We must learn to look at the bigger picture. He looked at the bigger picture like, I have to get married one day. And I'm in love with my wife. And my baby is going to be mixed race. And so I have to fight for them. My baby is my life, you understand? My child is my life. My wife compliments me. My wife makes me happy. I feel safe and I've known a lot because I'm married to my wife. I've known exactly how it feels to be a yes, to be on the other side of racism. So he has learned a lot and he decided, bravo to him, to support the wife because he married to the wife. And I just pray that a lot of men not only black men, because we have men all over, whether you are black, you are brown, you are pink, you are purple. Um, a lot of them, when they get married to their wives, they don't protect their wives. And that is one thing they should learn from Harry. You have to be there for your wife. You opt, it was your choice to propose to get married. When you have married, even the Bible, I'm a Christian, says that a man, M-A-N, shall leave his parents' house. He said, and twine. That is how they are twine. Or cleave. Some Bible says cleave unto his wife. And the two shall become one. If you have become one, why would you leave your wife at the mercy of your family members or your friends or whoever whatsoever to um, molest your wife? And you understand, but I, I said, no, I'm, I'm not having none of this. And he decided to leave everything behind. And that is what real love is about. Real love is deep. And men should know, because even amongst the, in the church, they just preach women should be submissive. When you go to the social media, it's always about women. Women, you have to do this to keep your marriage. It's all women, women in most cases. 
But look at what the Bible says. Um, even though this, the Bible says, yes, we have to be submissive to our husband. But sometimes the Bible lose, leaves things like that. It is not going to... In the Bible, I don't think God was saying that you should be submissive to an abusive man, a rapist. You understand? A man that is um, a narcissistic, a man that is causing you problem, that is very abusive. I don't think God wants that for you. But then let's look at the other commandments that God gave to the men. To be honest, it is even worse because he said, men, he said, love your wives like you love the church. Do you know what that means? It's like if you don't love the church, you are doomed. You understand? So God is expecting you the same way he is expecting you to love him. Yeah? That's the same way you should love the wife. And that is a very big commitment. So men, please know that you have a greater responsibility, in fact. You, we, we are made from your ribs, okay? And that means, that's why we are called we men. We are not called men. We are called women and we were made from your ribs. So it is your responsibility. It is their <laughs> responsibility as a man to protect us. And that is where Harry has called, um, well, maybe I would say 99% for me. I, I just thank God for their lives. And also, when you've got married, you have to know it is a triangle. Marriage is like this. It is a triangle. I don't know what kind of triangle I'm making. <laughs> it is a triangle whereby when you go in front like with us christians you go there in front of the priest the priest is just a witness to the marriage and then wherever you get married even if it's the registry the registrar is just a witness it is a union the marriage is a contract between you between god god is up there the man and the woman and you see it is binding like a triangle so you should know that nobody else is in that contract. And even though a lot of people are annoyed that they make reference to Diana, why should they not make reference to Diana? Because she suffered similar thing. I'm not saying she suffered the same. No. She suffered similar thing in the hands of the royal family. So at the end of the day, what she suffered is what I'm going to talk about here. She made, a, she came out, she talked to somebody. There was an interview where she said, my marriage is overcrowded most of us women our marriages are overcrowded our men cheat the other part the other lover of cheat, sometimes more than one lovers they have come into my home and that has become overcrowded and that was what lady diana was talking about that is why cheating is so bad it is not acceptable because you have because <laughs> we marriage you have got somebody in the home when i mean in the home not necessarily mean physically in the home but the moment a man or a woman goes out and cheats you have got somebody in the home spiritually and it is a bad thing and a lot of marriages they end up they they, they get uh, end up in divorce and separation as a result of cheating even god made sure that he said in his word that the only way you can leave your husband or your wife it is in the event of somebody has gone out there to cheat that is how bad cheating is and he went on to say talks about the cheating husband or the cheating wife he said when you have cheated you have defiled your body your body defiled means you have contaminated your body and god says my spirit will not dwell in you because god does not go where a body is contaminated God is so holy. You don't expect God to come inside a body that is um, contaminated. So that is the other thing I want to point out. So even though people say don't talk about Diana, we always talk about people, the past, to make reference to the present and to rec make recommendations for the future. So it is important that we touch on that. So, so far, Harry has been a good boy. We have never heard about rumors of infidelity. And that is what I'm praying for. So that another woman would not come and split them up. So I hope men would, and women too, because women do cheat nowadays. So we have to learn from these stories, not just sit down there and criticize. You might not even be better. We say racism, racism, racism. Yes, like I said, tribalism is a form of discrimination. You know how it hurts when you're in a white man's country. And then you, like my countrymen, they are 
always shouting and cursing each other. The Timini would curse the Minde. The Minde would curse the Timini Creoles and everything. That is called tribalism. Any form of discrimination, it hurts. It hurts my people. And when you come to the white man's country, when they discriminate against you, they, they are racist against you, you know how you feel. And yet still we don't learn. That is because man is so selfish. You are here. Or you have been here, you've gone back home or whatever, wherever you are. You know how what it felt like when you were being discriminated against because of the color of your skin. And then now you're still discriminated. <sighs> I don't understand. I don't understand. The other thing I want to talk about is about Harry talking about his mom. By the way, Harry was very close to the mom. And that was why when the mom died, Harry suffered from mental breakdown. And that is why I think Harry supports the wife so much. Because Harry is there to be protective of the wife. Because he knows, even though he was small, children are very clever. He would have seen the way the mom suffered. Maybe the mom would have been crying in front of them. Maybe the mom, he would know. And he was so very young when the mom died, had to walk behind the coffin. And since then, Harry suffered from a lot of mental breakdown. So what I'm saying here is that he made a mention of the mom when they asked about the finances. He said because they've cut him off but the mom. He says it is as if my mother knew what was going to happen to me. And so the mom left a lot of money for them and he's surviving on that money. It will not be enough because those people need security. <clears throat> and those security are specialist security. They are not security that you are going to pay a thousand pounds a month. They are very expensive and he would need it for himself. The Archie and the baby is coming, another baby is coming and the wife. So that was where he talked about that. And so parents, remember, learn from this. I am telling you where you will learn. Remember that please don't wait until you die. Start by preparing your will. Go to a lawyer. Prepare the will when you are alive. You understand? Leave money for your children. Open insurance, life insurance, whatever insurance. Some people open funeral insurance because we know in this country that the cost of funeral, oh, oh let's not talk about that. That is for another day. Very expensive. Even the grave, you have to pay for the grave and you have to pay like it's a lease. Everything here you don't own. So things, I'll talk about that later anyway. So that is why you have to remember as parents please 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 i am begging you remember to think about your children's future today you'll be here tomorrow you might not be here some children because of inheritance tax in this united kingdom and i sh i know a lot of country even the united states of america because of in it and stuck, they end up having to sell the property that their mothers and fathers have sweat, have worked so hard to acquire or to build for them. So that is why, please remember, don't wait until you say that you are old before you go to the the lawyer to make your will. Do it now. Learn from what Harry said about the mom. Okay, some of us, please do things like insurance so that when you are dead. Your children will not carry the burden and lose and have to sell something you have worked so hard for. That is another thing that I want us to learn about Harry's wonderful speech. Harry, God will bless them. We are praying for them because sometimes you feel sorry for them. Okay, so Harry has defined love. We have talked about the mother. Um, we, we should learn from these things. That is why I always try as best as possible to learn from other people's problem, okay? I try to learn. The problem I had, I turned the book upside down. That's the problem I have. Mm -hmm. Anything can happen. I've spoken about will, okay? You have to protect. You have to protect the future of your children. You have to protect them when you will not be around. 
Uh huh. So you have to put your wife above all others. So I will stop here for now. I don't want it to be so long. I will be coming as the things unfold because trust me, it is not going to go away <laughs> soon. We will hear more about it, and I will try to come back and analyze it. So please let us remember: no form of discrimination. Don't be involved. Racism, tribalism, nepotism, sectionalism, regionalism. Don't any form of um, discrimination. Don't discriminate against people because of the the way they worship God, their religion, their sexual orientation. Like if they say I want to be gay, it is their body, it is their life. Don't hit them because of that. You understand? Everybody has a right as long as they don't come and trouble you. What business have you got if somebody says today, I want to change, I want to become a woman or a man? Don't hate that person for that. Let us learn to be tolerant, okay? That is the world. The world is big for everybody to practice his or her own belief, religion whatsoever. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Please remember, please let us up our game. A lot of you, you watch, you don't subscribe. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel because this is mainly for YouTube. I will take it to um, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter and places like that. But it is mainly geared towards um, um, YouTube because I want to start going live so that you start asking me questions. So please subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And let us book it together, okay? And then, you see the bell? The bell is not there to smile. It is there for you to... Um, so that whenever I come online, you will be notified. And also, another important part, share, 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 share. <laughs> because by sharing, we'll get to the mark where I will be I will be able to come live and then we'll have an interactive, pro, uh, interactive program where you'll be able to make your comments live. You'll be able to ask me questions. I will be able to talk. It's not always good to just sit down there and listen to me. Sometimes I want you to talk. So thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Have a blessed day. And remember, say no to racism, no to tribalism, no to any form of discrimination. Goodbye.